What's up, everyone? Happy Sunday, fun day. We are still upstate New York. We're hanging out here on the banks of the Hudson River. Or, uh, Glens Falls, New York. Actually, between South Glens Falls and Glens Falls. We have a little park. Sun is rising. And uh, we are out living life. We're out living life. There's Dawn. Always the first one on. All right, so it's Sunday fun day. We get to go to church today because uh, I opened up the Bible verse this morning. And uh, today's message was from Matthew. And it was about do unto others as you would yourself. Uh, the golden rule that, um, you know, basically in our lives. <laughs> I miss me in person. I miss you too, Don. Um, the golden rule, the golden rule, do unto others as you would yourself. Um, how important that is in life, how we, important that is that um, to do good and be good and um, just keep putting positivity out in the world, especially the day after 9-11, uh, 9-12. Um, as much as 9-11 was horrible, 9-12 was amazing. Um, the whole world united. The whole world became one. There was no black and white. There was no gay and straight. There was no Republican, Democrat. It was one family, one love. Uh, God's people, looking out for God's people, um, all the nonsense that goes on in the world, all the division, all the hate was all put to the side and it was just love. And uh, <clears throat> something that uh, 20 years later we lost, never forget 9-11. Um, I like to say everything happens for a reason and uh, not that 9-11 was really a good thing to happen, but the, the love and the, and the help that came after 9-11. You know, people just care, you know, just helping and people on top of the pile digging and digging and digging. Um, a lot of those people passed away because of their actions, because of what they breathed in on top of the pile. And um, do unto others as you would yourself. Just <clears throat> put that positivity out in the world. <laughs> Remember 9-11 uh, and 9-12. I don't, you know, I don't like to remember 9/11. We uh, we want to remember the people that we lost, but I like to remember 9/12. <clears throat> that that day was a beautiful day, and, and the days after that, you couldn't buy a flag because there was flags on every house, on every property. People were proud to be American. People united, and uh, <clears throat> we need that back in the world. We need that back. So, so that was the Bible verse. Um, and now there's a preacher that actually gets on every morning and explains the verse. And um, there was another thing that he said. This goes out to uh, a lot of people. Um, when God gives us blessings, it's up to us to share those blessings. Uh, blessings are opportunities for us to share God's love and help other people. It's not to build a bigger fence. If we're blessed and we are financially blessed or however the blessing comes into our lives, it's not to build a bigger fence. It's to make a bigger table, to invite more people to the table, invite more people to help. Um, and he also talked about uh, procrastination. He said, uh, procrastination is the graveyard of unexperienced blessings eulogized by excuses. And I thought that was pretty, pretty, pretty spot on. So, uh, those of us that procrastinate on the blessings in our lives, um, that God gave us the unexperienced blessings because we procrastinate, um, is eulogized by our excuses pretty cool right so uh in an apex world uh we have an fye uh forget your excuses and um <clears throat> every time we make an excuse and we don't experience a blessing it's uh definitely a waste of uh of something good some some opportunity that we could have uh used to help someone and help a lot of people so anyway all right so that's the message today do want to others as you would yourself don't procrastinate you miss some blessings if you procrastinate. <clears throat> so let's jump in prayers. Let's jump in. Why don't you look at the uh, water over here? All right. Jump in prayers. Follow us up, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us not to procrastinate in our lives. Help us to experience all the blessings that you give us. Uh, help us to do unto others as we would ourselves. Help us to share your love and and message and blessings and that we're all in this together. And uh, this is one world, one life, one people. And we're all together. We're one big family. Let us remember that every day. Let us help our fellow man and woman. And uh, let us do big things in the world. Amen. All right, everyone. So that's got the message today. It's Sunday fun day. Uh, we're still up in upstate New York, about halfway between Saratoga and Lake George. And um, the Adirondack Nationals is coming to an end. We did a lot of cruising yesterday in the uh, hot rod. So we'll put a bunch of pictures up. I'll put some more up today. And uh, we're gonna, just going to chill out a little bit today, relax and enjoy the kitties. And uh, enjoy uh, what's left of the nice weather. The rain's coming in later. This evening, so hope we get a nice day out of it and uh, take a day to relax and enjoy. Um, God gave us Sunday, the Sabbath, to uh, stop and enjoy life. You can't work seven days a week. You got to stop and enjoy the fruits of your labor. So get out there, and enjoy Sunday, fun day. God bless. Remember nine twelve. Remember the blessing. Remember the lesson. That's it. Everyone, go have a great day. Love you all. God bless.